Uh, what is up, YouTube? MK40 here. We are with the greatest pendulum player, Mold to Mankind, and some fat guy. This is the apex predator of the Yu Gi Oh community. Uh, many would say that he is the pinnacle of the pendulum player. But Nine Negates loses to a simple fossil dino and his own ego in trading card form. Does it not? Yes, unfortunately. So, so we're going to be talking about the top five decks for this video, right? Yes, top five decks, no bias whatsoever. Little by little, I go first, you go first, second. She also doing you one. I don't like the intro. I was too cocky. All right, we're, we're, we'll dig into the discussion here. Okay. Too cocky in the beginning. Uh, I didn't mean for it to come off as that. I just thought it was the truth. The delusions, my friend. No, it's not. It's just totally true. Okay, so top five decks of the format. Okay, so you guys. I'll stop you there, Robbie. I'll go first. Number five. Pendulums. No. That's, <laughs> what? No way. We're, we said no bias. That's why it's obviously no. number one. So number five. Let's, let's, actually, I have to start back from number one to even think what's number five. So one, two, three, four. Pure Thunder Dragons. And the reason I say this is everyone thinks it's number one. The issue with Pure Thunder Dragons is actually logic behind this. So a lot of you will think Pure Thunder Dragon did not get hit on the ban list at all. It has to be the greatest deck on the planet because it was not hit on the ban list. Insectors wasn't hit on the ban list. Windups were hit on the ban list. Thunder Dragons don't actually do anything. The only reason they're so powerful is a bunch of noobs don't know how to deal with a Colossus that you cannot tar it cannot destroy. But they don't actually do anything. They have one Colossus, two Colossus Titan. They after siding, they don't put up more than one Colossus because they're scared of getting super polyed or whatever it may be. And the board is just so damn easy to break. Whether you play a good deck like Pendulum, whether you play a bad deck like Orcus, doesn't matter. You can always break that, break the Thunder board regardless because they're scared of all the new go second cards that just obliterate that deck. There's 30 at least, well 10, 3 ofs, that you can play in your side deck. That just destroy a Colossus or Double Colossus or Double Colossus of Titan. I, Hence, I have, I have bad news for you. People are maining the Rock and Super Poly. They're maining it, so you don't even have to side for it. So it's that easy to break through that. So board. wouldn't Pure Thunder lose even harder because they're maining those already? Correct. So Pure Thunder is even worse. The fact that Striker is bad makes Thunder even worse. In fact, oh, actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I should not put Pure Thunder number five. Uh, close I should actually close, put it number no, four. Okay, we'll put it five. We'll put it five. Striker isn't. In that list, no striker does not make that list. Right? Yeah, honorable mentions list. number 10. Strike, <laughs> correct. I like that. Uh, but Pure Thunder, I'll put five. Maybe we'll see, maybe later uh, a little higher. But right now, I'm gonna put it number five. And I know a lot of you're gonna think it's the best deck, which is why I wanted to say a big point on it. It had one top of the PPG, it was bad. Yeah, yeah and the PPG is a defining uh week, tourney week, of week, the week it's one, a, it's a defining <laughs> tourney of the sir. Meta. Chaos and backs on that, yeah, calm down. Uh, of this meta for this week, oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Chaos okay. And Chaos Impact changes nothing, really. Um, There's a few good cards in it. We'll, we'll talk about Orcus at number three. Uh, number four, um, my personal favorite is Altergeist. Okay. That's uh, hey, so here, here's the thing besides DZ, you're just rolling over and crying. So you have a very nice slow-paced deck. Evenly matched is a good card right now. Melozik is insane. Yeah. All right, like, actually... Uh, by the way, another example of how Thunder's trash. Melozik... <laughs> Okay, so like uh, all, every every deck in the format bullies Thunder Dragon, like even Pendulum. Every deck. The hilarious thing is that everyone thinks that's not the case. Uh, so you've definitely, absolutely, it does. So I don't know. There's just Secret Village is bad now because you don't have to beat Sky Striker. That's two more spots in your deck, right? You get to play better cards. Like I don't know. I know it didn't top the PPG, but looking at well, actually, it did top. It had two, right? Okay, so just in terms of pure representation, I don't know. What do you want to add about Alter Guys? Alter Guys, the f the new format, okay, is gonna be slower. The good decks kind of got hit a little bit. So Orcus losing Mermaid, every single deck that plays Mermaid. You mean the format became fair? It became more fair. You're not gonna be seeing ten negates unless you play me. So and you're not gonna be playing me. There's not. There's only one <laughs> Steven in the world. And it was not just because anyone plays Pendulum properly. Anyways, not just Pendulum, but any deck period that that needed Agar, like the Crusadia decks, all the decks that put up five negates, Agar Pain, they all just got so much weaker. So you're just going to see so much more slower decks, and Alter Geist is just generally good against them. So I, yeah. that's why I like Alter Geist. It's a good pick at number four. So, Arguably better than I mean, four and five. I, like Thunder, Alter Geist could like, go like maybe one, go five, one, four, but they're both like up there for so, sure, four or five. 
We're going to put Orcus to three just for general consensus to talk about. You put, you put it at three? Well, not, Actually, not, yeah, not, not, three. not in any order. I'll put it at we'll three. We'll go with that. Okay. But, so Orcus, we're, we're on the pure train now. Like, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Like, I still think that the Sky Striker package is going to be played in the deck. Engage, you know, the one Whittle Anchor. Hornet Drones is still, you know, yeah, I gotta put a, put a big point on that. So a lot of you guys don't, but you see at my locals, there's this player called Milano. This guy's... No, the it, next coming Orcus God. Okay. Yeah, Orcus God. He plays a six card Sky Striker engine in there. Mm -hmm. And in I, I've seen it firsthand. It's insane. It works up remarkable just because the pure engine doesn't need to end on Dengirsu and Galatea. What happens if you just have a Galatea on there with a Babel and a Dengirsu engrave mm -hmm. with a whole set five of all the, not set five, but like Crescendo, Widow, the one that banishes from grave, so they have a great synergy with well, it that's, together. That's just the current format. Remember, Chaos Impact is going to change that even more. What's coming out in that? Uh, we get the uh, Link Monster that we can link during the opponent's turn now. Oh, yeah! So we can make More the gates! So actually, no, you get the interruption on the Unicorn. Yeah, 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 exactly. So yeah. you get the full spin off of them, which is actually really broken. So, interactivity in, in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yo, is that quite a dark? Uh, I don't know. Please don't be a dark. If that card's a dark? Which one? IP Masquerina. Uh, if that card's a dark? Oh my god, Orcus might not actually be. They might be number oh, two. Oh, it is. Yeah, you can make it after It's Orcus. a dark? Oh, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. So you just that's set, insane. So you just set up the unicorn negate on your phone. Mm, the, yeah, no, that's unicorn. that's, I, I that's insane. That was. Yeah, like Orcus next list will bump up. Like pre list, it's yeah. like three, but it will be two post. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Or Would, maybe even 1.5. Nah, there's only one one. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's, for, what's as for number one? two, I just salad mangre. Salad. Yeah, I know salad. So I know like, I know we had a point you know, that just because it didn't get hit, it's not that bad. And the reason I'm saying three is that mermaid's banned. But mm -hmm. I might put Orcas at two after that card comes mm -hmm. out. If it's a dark, if it's a dark, that card just gives them another it is. interruption. It is. It is a dark. That's crazy. Yeah, that card's. I nice. already I already built a list, right? Yeah. That's it's, so good. It still plays engage. Yeah. I'll play it too. Well, yeah, it's, it's free advantage. That's like. insane. It literally just gives them, because right now, Orcas only have one searchable interruption. But not every single time they're going to have two uh, interruptions that they're going to do all the time, plus mm -hmm. whatever else they already have. Mm -hmm. But which leads to the salad conversation. It's just a good deck. Like the, If you're the, named a blessing, you're just always going to top with the deck. The that's true. He does continue topping with it. It's a good Ooh. deck, but again, the format is very slow. Fan Phantasmies are seeing way less power right now, too, which is kind of hurting salad. That's true. That's like, true. Uh, I, one thing I like about it is it could be turn five, but it could be like you're never out as long as you have that one. As long as you have that one spinny in the grave, basically the whole box. See, after turn one, all your whole decks in the graveyard. Yeah, basically. your whole engines in the graveyard. So you just continue doing the same thing. No matter if they break, if they if they super your board, it doesn't matter what happens to the board. Yeah, absolutely. So it just it, it'll come back next turn, and you can't really break through the three monsters unless you're playing a deck that like, spams monsters on board. I don't know, a Pendulum or Crusader or something, for example. They did a Crusade of Danger, Thunder, stuff well, like that. the current thing with Salad is, like, you do get the Appaloosa about the fifth negate, depending on how you're setting up. Some of them don't even have Appaloosa in the extra deck. Not I, many of them, well, actually. Not many of them the do. Blessing's talking about it, so it's going to be spicy. That's fair, that's fair. But that deck does lose to Nibiru, but if you have the will, you play through it so much easier as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing three will. Absolutely. Will's yeah. the best extender that that deck for actually 100% has going for. Soul Charge. It's a good deck, but I would never put it... It's just a good deck. It's Salamant good. Like, it doesn't actually do something crazy, but because the format's so slowed right now, especially because someone discovers some crazy, crazy way to play any deck. But anyways, which leads us to the actual crazy, crazy deck number one. Pendulos, baby! And that's not a boost or anything. It truly is number one. I firmly, firmly believe it is number one. Not no... Should I reveal the spice on here? Nah, let's not reveal the spice on here. Not magicians. Oh, this is the best deck. Stop playing yourself. Stop playing yourself. <laughs> Stop playing yourself. <laughs> Thank you, what? voice of reason. What? The trip's gonna be like Orcus. You, you actually play Orcus Pendulum. Magician. Orcus, without mermaid. Maybe we, let's change the list. We'll put Orcus I, I, number I, five. Nah, it's good enough. IP Madison. No, number Orcus number. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Listen, 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 listen to my logic. How many? Pe you said that the PPG tops mattered, right? It's defining the format. Yeah. yeah how, many penalms, how many pendulums? How many pendulums? How many were in that format? I mean, how many pendulums were in the, that top cut? Uh, I don't know what he just said. There's five orcas. You know, so, so here's, here's an interesting question to you. Okay, so stop stop with the pendulum trying to be the best deck here. It, so, it, money match. What happened to your deck? Oh, stop. Who won? Okay, so won? Lunalite Orcus and Pure Orcus. Which variant do you think will succeed? 
Probably Lun pure, right? Yeah, Luna Lights. With Mermaid, Mermaid Luna Orcas. Orcas. Moving forward, Orcas. Like either they go, in, they cast an Imperial Order with, with uh, instead. Like Luna instead, Orcas cast an Imperial Orcas Order, card, and then they go from there. They make mm -hmm. the combo from there. But um, with the, the, the Luna deck cast an Imperial instead of that. So, I mean, they have to do one or the other. And yeah. Imperial is like one of like the auto win cards in the deck, right? So we're just going to assume that we will see a Luna Light Orcus as like the rogue pick next appear? I wouldn't say rogue pick, it's like probably gonna be like 60-40. Okay. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Pendulum's still the best deck though. They're both in your, only in your heart. No, in the world. Only in your heart. I'll prove it. I wish I could play the Lion King theme, but Play it. Ugh, can't copyright. Milano, listen. Orcus sucks. Listen with your heart. Yeah, where were you at PPG for? <laughs> honorable first, first mentions, place. though. True Draco. Is it honorable? Yeah, it's like number oh, six. Like, easy. Number six. I'd, I'd put it top five. Yeah. I, I, but it's like a, I the, the, high, the higher the only thing I prefer Guru. Guru is the worst deck in the format. Guru and Draco are like on the same tier, though. Like, that's yeah, the yeah, problem. Definitely, definitely. Like, you look at them, you're like, okay, it's so like I five. Mystic, is, Mind. Mystic Mind. Mystic Mind. Mind is like honorable mention. Yeah. Like,. But the problem is, Chaos Impact Orcus doesn't... is an honorable mention, too. They just just on the top four. Ca Chaos Impact doesn't do enough to change the game as a whole. Like, IP changes the Orcus game, which makes right, that's it... That's it. Changes the Pendulum game, too. Another interruption. Yeah, that is true. Uh, there was something else coming out in Impact that was interesting. Oh, um, yeah. How do you feel about Marin Seth? Oh, yeah. Yo, Marin Seth is actually good. And when those cards Every, come out, everybody I, would disagree with you. No, no, they have they have the potential to do something really, really good. They have, I don't know, six or nine. We'll sign it mining. So twelve yeah. one card combos. I put up some like big boards, but the big boards don't do anything. Or plus boards, like they could link climb from one card to four very, very, very easily. Like just they have twelve cards that link climb from one to four plus a random monster on board, and they have two. If they have two Marantz's monsters, they go like plus three or plus four or something, and link climb from a one monster to link four. So even though right now it's not going to be super powerful right after, if Marin says it's guaranteed you're going to have some crazy support, some crazy link that's just like a game changer, like an Electro for Pendulum type of link, some link that's just insane, like a Soul Day for Warriors or something like that. Yeah. And if they have something that's specifically for that, the deck will do some damage. I'm telling you, like if they get some card that just pluses or adds or special, like they could do some crazy stuff. Already, like it's early. Marin says is like no way they're going to stop with releasing new Marin says cards. Because they're a new archetype, and they seem kind of favored. We are five months away from a new mechanic. You calm down. How do you, you're not sure about that, though. It's Konami. You're not Wait. sure? Well, it'll come out eventually, but you're not sure if it was five months, two months, ten months, two no, years? No, the next arc begins in March, April. Does it always happen when the new arc starts? They always start a new mechanic? Yeah. Always? Yeah. What? The new anime is always based around the new summoning mechanic. Yep. You must be new here. <laughs> Bro, I'm not a weeb. I'm do something mechanic. Bro, being a weeb sometimes pays off. It does. <laughs> but that is, I, damn. Well, hopefully it's... Wow, the, the revelation here. This man just experienced all five triff emotions. Doubt, pity, self-realization, no, happiness, it's gonna change the entire. It's going to change the entire meta to like a whole other level then. Yeah. Hopefully it helps pendulum, bro. Damn. I, they, they've been shitting on your mechanic for a while now. Who won? <laughs> I mean, Ooh, it doesn't what? matter. You remember when you actually had an extra zone for your pendulum scales and had Yes, and that's row? what the new rule is going to be. The new mechanic is going to be about pendulums. Pendulum any, summit number two. Any uh, final thoughts? Final thoughts, pendulum best deck. And uh, play it for yourselves, and you'll figure out. Please make guess in a new tier one. They're a pendulum deck. Do you see the pendulum? Deck sucks, though. No, no, you're, you're the pendulum master. Every pendulum deck but this. <laughs> tier one. Work us. Pure Thunder, overrated. They suck. Salamangri, mm -hmm. also overrated. I get every deck we just said but Pendulum, top Tri 10. Tri Triff can fix everything but this. But that. <laughs> Thank you for being here, sir. Thank you for having me on your channel. Or if I'm not lazy enough, I actually post it on my channel. Thanks for watching. And subscribe to me and Robbie. Or else you're dumb. But you're dumb. I am dumb. That's why I'm subscribed to you. God. Actually, wait, then that's the opposite way. You are such a brain dead up, monkey. Uh, Sorry? Triff Gaming. Uh, Truth Gaming? Triff Gaming. T-R-I-F. Subscribe, bro. <laughs> you already know, bro. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're out. Later, guys. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe. Russell, slap you. The ride never...
Well, it truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a triple shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.